Hey, this is Kelsey with Kelsey Freeman Photography and Photoshop Actions. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how you can edit pictures with the new Rouge um, Photoshop Action Set. So this is the before image and um, it's not going to take hardly any time at all to get this picture done. Um, so we've got a good bit of stuff to work with here in this action set. I have some um, base actions you start with. Um, some matte edits, um, tone color add-ons, I have light add-ons, um, nice sun hazes and glows, and then extra stuff, stuff <laughs> such as um, uh, brightening the teeth, smoothing the skin, um, brightening shadows, that sort of thing. So anyway, um, I'm going to start this one off with sweetness. It just gives it a nice pop. Um, and it's not too um, dramatic and it's just a nice little sweet base edit um, so you can you know adjust opacity on these actions you can um, hide layers anything you know that doesn't really fit exactly what you're going for in a picture um, you know it's really easy to use so actually what I want to do is I do want to adjust the opacity here I do want to bring it up a little bit um, just make it a little more dramatic. Um, you can open it up and really dig into it and um, remove things. You can, um, you know, up the opacity. I'm going to bring up Baba Boom. Um, it, it just kind of um, really pops out some of that color. Um, so I'm going to bring that up a good bit. Um, and then next thing I want to do is I want to run Warmthy Goodness. This is probably one of my favorite things on the action set. Um, I use it on almost every picture I have. Like I absolutely adore Warmthy Goodness. It just makes me happy. <laughs> um, and I really don't ever tweak anything on it. But you could if you wanted to. Just click the arrow. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I want to um, add some vignette to the sides. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Brush on Vignette. There's also an auto vignette if you aren't picky about where the vignette goes. Um, and so I'm going to take a black brush pretty large and I'm going to lower the opacity a good bit though and I do want to make sure that there's no um, hardness. It's a very smooth brush and then you just brush it on. Oops! <laughs> I should probably click black. Um, and the instructions pop up and tell you what to do when you open it. Um, Alright, so I'm going to lower this a little bit. That was a little much for me. There we go. And then I'm going to click on Rich Pop and run that as well. I want to add some um, some richness to this picture. So for this one, you're going to use a soft white brush at low opacity. And I'm going to do this over the back. You see how it really brought out the orange um, and that, that nice golden um, color in the back. So I am going to run this over the back a little bit until I am happy with where it is. Um, and I wouldn't suggest doing this on skin. You can, but um, it's it's very, very dramatic, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, and then next thing I want to do is I want to run Fun Sun. It is probably my favorite sun action that I have. It's really bright. The colors are great. It makes me happy. Um, so I am going to bring this on down a good bit. And I do want to remove it from her face a little bit. So I'm going to click on the white square over here. Um, that's the mask layer. And I'm going to click on my paintbrush, higher opacity, um, and then use black and just kind of brush it off of her face because it, it was just kind of hiding any details that we had in her face as well as his. Um, so kind of get rid of that. Awesome. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and just flatten this and I want to pop some of the details in her face. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am uh, going to run my, where is it? Where is it? Okay, it's, um, there we go. Add some contrast. So, here's what I like to do with this one. Um, I am going to raise that up a little bit. And then, here we go. Alright, I'm going to use a black brush. 
There we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of paint this on her face. I didn't want it super, super bright. Perfect. And then I'm going to do sparkle eyes and run this over his eyes. Make that brush really tiny. Because it is kind of hidden. Um, and I'm going to run it over her eyes and her um, eyeshadow as well just to really kind of make them pop. I know it's sparkle eyes and her eyes aren't open but it still adds um, a little bit of attention and drama to her eyes. Okay so there you go. I'm going to go ahead and just flatten this and then show you guys the before and after. So there's the before and there's the after. Um, super easy, pretty quick. Edit. Um, so anyway, that is all there is to it. There's a lot more you can do in this action set, but um, that's just one quick, easy way that I um, edit my pictures pretty much on a daily basis. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Y'all can feel free to check out um, the action set at my website, um, KelseyFreemanPhotography.com, and then there's a link up there for Photoshop actions. All right. Thanks. I hope y'all enjoyed. Bye.